Let's take a look at how to create a, a histogram for a probability distribution. Specifically, we'll look at this one. We got ages 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49. And then we've got a corresponding percents. Now, this is actually in percent form, um, which technically is not a probability form, but uh, you could put this in probability form by putting it in decimal form. So it's be 0 0.331, 0 0.413, 0 0.102, and 0 0.154 doesn't matter whether it's percent or in probability, it'll give you the same picture. Okay, so over in Excel, I'm going to have my lower class limits. And uh, that's the smallest part of my range, 10, 20, 30, 40. And I'm going to have my upper class limits, which is a larger part of my range, which is 19, 29, 39, 49. I need my midpoints, and we're going to use the uh, formula where you take your lower class limit plus your upper class limit divide by two because that works best with the spreadsheets. So I'm going to do equals beginning parentheses a2 plus b2 divide by two. Um, our formula says we have to add before we divide by two, so that's why I have to put parentheses around a2 plus b2. That forces it to add first. And you have to have the equals at the beginning, and then they divide by two, of course. And then press enter. Now I'm going to click this uh, C2, put my mouse in the bottom right-hand corner, took the a black plus, click and hold down, and drag down. And that gives me my midpoints. Now my percents are 33.1%, 41.3%. Uh, Ten point two per cent, fifteen point four per cent, okay, so now I need to select my data, so I'm gonna uh click and hold down uh, and drag down, so I click the d two with my left mouse button and held down and drag down to select down to d five, choose my insert, and I've got my two d column here. And you see this first one was, what was this first one? 33.1%. looks like it's about 33.1%. Now under design now, there are some options. Specifically, you can put percents there. So if I choose that, and you see this. Under format, there's different, different options you can have too. Um, okay. Well, this is good. My, um, so I got a vertical axis. That's interesting. It doesn't give me a vertical axis on that one. I'll choose this one because I want to see that over there. And um, maybe that's a little clearer to see then. Now, one last thing we want to take a look at is down here, I want my midpoints, not one, two, three, four. So um, if I right click down here and choose select data, Over here in the horizontal, side by side, axis labels, I click edit. And I'm in the axis label range here. And I'm going to click and hold down from C2 down to C5, because that's where my midpoints were. And click OK. And then click OK again. And now you'll see your midpoints down at the bottom. Now, if there's a way to um, cause these to be smack up against each other, um, I don't know what it is. Um, not sure if I've ever seen that in, in Excel, but that pretty well gives you what the um, probability histograms look like. Of course, you can edit titles and so forth now. But that's how you create a, prob uh, a histogram for probability distributions in Excel.